Hi all, welcome back. Suppose you have a supermarket and somebody is coming, that is a customer is coming and he is making the order for the same products every time he visits your shop. Just imagine entering these products manually every time he makes an order. It's really difficult, right? Inside the sales module, we have a small trick to save your time. It's nothing but the quotation template. By using this quotation template, you can set the template and use it every time such customers comes. So let's get into the module and see how to build a quotation template. Okay, so now let's get into the sales module and see how this quotation template is created and all. Okay, so I'm opening the sales here. Now, before starting, what we have to do is go to the configuration settings and we have to make sure that the quotation builder and quotation template is enabled. So, I'll go to the configuration settings from here. Now, inside the configuration, you can see quotations and orders. Okay, under that section, you have the quotation template and quotation builder. So, enable it from here and then save it. Okay, so only after saving it, you can see that menu under the configuration. So, now if you go to the configuration, here you can see quotation templates under sale orders. Open that. Here we can see all the pre-created templates. Uh, let's create a new one. So, click on create button here and provide a name for your template. So, I'll give new template or something. And here's a field which asks that is quotation expires after. That is you can mention uh, a number of day that is when will this expire like after this much days this much days and all then you have recurrence okay so you can uh, set the recurrence from the drop down here it can either be weekly monthly and all you have a lot of options and from that you can choose by your wish and then we have the online confirmation so under the confirmation you have payment as well as signature so if you need them you can just uh, check it from there you have the confirmation mail Okay, so you can set the template for that field uh, under this drop down. You have the option to set the company as well. Now the main part comes here. You can see a tab called lines. So under this lines, you have to mention the products for which you are setting the quotation template. So just click on add a product here and add how many products you want. Okay, based on your requirement. So I'm choosing two, three random products. Okay, so I've chosen whiteboard pen, customizable desk and simple pen. Okay, so I've added three products for this uh, template right now and I'll save it. Okay, so now a quotation template is created. So now we can design it inside the website. So just click on the design template here. It will re uh, redirect us to the website. So I'm just clicking here. Okay, so now we are inside the website and from here we can edit it and change the layout uh, however you want. Okay, you can make it more attractive. So simply click on edit here. Okay, so inside the edits you have uh, certain snippets and all right. Just drag and drop it according to your wish. So I am putting the banner here and you can see the products which I have mentioned like whiteboard pen and all. So, you can make it more beautiful according to your creativity and all. Okay, so after finishing it, you can save it. Okay, and then you can use that template for further, I mean, future uses. So, we've designed the template here. Next thing which we are going to do is go back to the sales module and see how it's implemented inside a sale order. So, let's go to the sales module here and create a quotation. So here I'm uh, choosing a customer. Okay. And here you can see quotation template. So inside that by default, you have a quotation template. Just change it to the one which you created right now. So I created new template. Choosing that. Now you can see the change. Okay. The change is very clear. You can see uh, once I chosen the template which I created, those products which I have given inside the template has come under the order lines. So that's what I said, it's pretty much easier and it saves your time that you don't need to manually enter the products every time he makes the same order. Okay, so this is basically how you set a quotation template and also design it inside the sales module. Okay, again if such a situation occur, please save your time with our super cool trick. That's all for today, thank you so much for watching.